Columbus, Pennsylvania cooking. It's still really cold here in Pennsylvania. That means I still want comfort food. So, and I'm still on a crock pot binge. So, um, today we're going to do crock pot macaroni and cheese. It's all done in the crock pot. No separate pans or anything else. It's all in the pot. And this is a little different than my baked version. And just with the cheeses that I use and the combination. So there's three ways you can do mac and cheese. You can do mac and cheese on the stove with a white sauce. You can do the baked version um, that has eggs or I use sour cream in mine. And then we're going to have the crock pot version. And the cheeses that you select for this are important because you want to have the flavor but still have some of the cre creaminess. So talking about cheeses, I don't use uh, prepackaged shredded cheese for this. Why? Because prepackaged sh uh, shredded cheese, easy for me to say, um, contains caking agents so that it doesn't cake in the bags or, or jars or whatever. Um, so that can make grittiness, uh, cause grittiness or clumping uh, or caking in your macaroni and cheese, which is not the most desirable. It's edible, just not desirable. So I hand shred the cheese for this. Uh, I'm going to show you quick what cheeses I decided to use today and uh, let's get to it. I have a pound of macaroni, elbow macaroni, two and a half cups of milk, a can of evaporated milk, not condensed milk. You can't use condensed milk when it calls for evaporated milk. That stuff is very sweet. Um, I have a quarter pound of cubed butter, I have salt, pepper, uh, cayenne, dry mustard, and garlic powder. And then I have my cheeses. And I have for the creamy cheese a smoked gouda. Um, and I, these cheeses are from um, Woodhull, New York from the Golden Age Cheese Company, which is some of my favorite cheese. And then this one over here is a super sharp and this is Masterpiece, which is 15 year aged cheddar. Oh my god, so good. I love sharp cheddar cheese and macaroni and cheese. So, uh, also from Golden Age Cheese Company in Woodhall, New York. Um, so, that's what goes into it. This is going to be really, really simple. I'm going to rinse my macaroni off in my colander. Uh, the only reason I'm doing that is to get any fines or powder or whatever from processing uh, rinsed off before I add it to the crock pot. And then we'll do the next step. So, I have my rinsed macaroni. I'm going to add here. And I'm going to add my milk and my evaporated milk. And then my pepper and cayenne pepper, and salt, and garlic powder, and mustard. I'm going to give this all a stir and get this all mixed into the liquid. Then I'm going to add my shredded Gouda, which is the creamier cheese. You can use Monterey Jack, um, American, anything like that, a creamier, your creamier cheese. And I'm going to add my sharp. This is going to be so good. And this is nice too. This is a, this is a great way to do it, to be able to take away to uh, potlucks or family events or parties. Very easy. Um, used to take this into work when we would be having parties in at work for birthdays or something. And the cube butter. Just a quarter pound of cube butter. And I'm just going to stir that in. And that's it. I'm going to put this on covered on low for one hour, and then we're going to start checking it. It can take anywhere from uh, 
one to one and a half to two hours depending on your crock pot and uh, your settings. Some crock pots on low cook pretty high and hot so just be watchful of that. But low and one hour is a good place to start and uh, we'll come back in a bit. So it's been an hour for macaroni and cheese. Let's take a check. Oh man, does this ever smell good? I'm going to give it a good stir. Scrape down the sides. Oh my goodness, it smells divine. Mmm, you can smell the smoked gouda and everything. And I'm going to cover this back up and I'm going to chuck it again in about half an hour. And it's done. Now we're stirring a few times. It took about two hours to have the noodles where I wanted them, but oh my goodness. Creamy? Oh man, it smells good. You know what comes next. So the best part of this, the eating. So here it is. And you can see it's creamy. And you can hear that it's creamy. And I'm eating this with some applesauce, which was my total like favorite thing growing up. Macaroni and cheese and applesauce. Still love it. We're gonna give this a try. You can see the cheesiness. So good. Oh man. That is so good. And you even get some of that flavor through from the uh, smoked gouda that I used. And almost um, a good baked creaminess to it. That was super easy. Easy to mix up, throw together. This one took two hours. You just got to keep a check on it after one hour. But great to take away for gatherings and events and how easy is that? No, no pots and pans and a stove or anything else. So that's my crock pot macaroni and cheese. Give it a shot.